Guys, I'm gonna do this uh, video showing you guys how to uh, clean out your uh, condenser. Uh, that is kind of important. Lyle, push. you're gonna help me push, okay? Um, you're gonna clean out your condenser. Um, you wanna do this every couple of years. If you have um, carpets in the house, if you have uh, uh, dogs or cats in the house, you wanna do that once a year because um, this is kind of like the breathing system of the refrigerator. Sorry, I didn't specify. We're gonna clean the condenser on your refrigerator. Uh, that's in the back of the refrigerator. I already have this set up for me to do it real quick. Um, yeah, if you have cats and dogs, you wanna make sure you do this once a year because um, it sucks a lot of dog hair, a lot of lint, a lot of all that good stuff. And um, if your condenser is not clean and it's not operating properly, um, your compressor can burn out. Um, so you want to do this every couple of years. Lau, can you hand me the, the drill, please? Okay. You're going to need a Phillips for this, this setup. Now, what you want to do is remove all your screws back here. Uh, this refrigerator that we're working on has a uh, aluminum back uh, cover. Yours might have a um, cardboard back cover or aluminum. You want to remove these screws and once you remove these screws you want to unplug the fridge um, you want to make sure you unplug it because you don't want to end up damaging um, your fridge or messing something up my um, as you can see the evaporator on this fridge that I'm working on um, I'm sorry the condenser the condenser this is the condenser the evaporator is the, the part that uh, it gets really, really cold. It's really dirty, right? Um, all these kind of like patches is blocking um, the fridge from flowing uh, air and can cause a problem in the future. Um, so what you want to do is grab your uh, vacuum. I'm just going to use my regular household vacuum. And it's gonna get a little bit loud, but you want to. And this is a Samsung, so you do have the drain lines here. You can just go ahead and remove these drain lines. And I'm gonna clean those drain lines as well. Um, cleaning these drain lines, you see how. Uh, they're kind of a little bit dirty. Cleaning these drain lines will extend the life of your uh, refrigerator. So this one's all crunchy now. So I'll go ahead and clean these as well. All you gotta do is take these apart. They literally suction off. They're just put on there by hand. And you wanna clean all this inside, all this gunk, and make sure that you're able to see through when you squeeze. Um, and you're pretty much good. So I remove those. Um, when you, excuse me, La. Thank you, son. I know, I know. You're gonna help us. Give me a second. When you're cleaning your evaporator, you wanna. I'm sorry, your condenser. You wanna go up and down. You see how the little fins are going up and down. You wanna go up and down. You don't wanna go side to side because you will crush those fins and then it won't breathe properly. <laughs> Say, hey we'll vacuum out the compressor too I don't really like to mess with the with the vacuuming the compressor or sticking any type of uh, hoses or anything on here because you don't want to bend any of these copper tubing lines they're really easily bent 
or break them, then you'll have a really big problem. Be very careful with the copper lines. Give me one second. The way you want to, the way you want to, uh, you know, your compressors just kind of put a rag in here, very gently, wipe it off. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. The compressor can be a little bit dirty. Um, doesn't have to be a perfect thing. Give me one second. These here, like I said, you want to clean these out. Excuse me, love. Get these cleaned out. I kind of take one of these little clip removers and I stuff, I stuff it in here. Make sure it's nice and not crunchy. If this is crunchy, you want to replace it. A lot of times it will get crunchy, and then you kind of, you kind of want to squeeze it and then get all this little gunk out. You can do this, uh, Lyle. You can do this under a sink, but to save time, and because um, we're out here, I'm just gonna do it dry. Um, the other thing is too, um, sometimes there's like lint that gets through them, um, and you don't wanna put that down your sink, it can clog it. You just want to make sure they're kind of clean and clear and they're not crunchy. If they're crunchy and they crack, just replace them. They're pretty cheap. Um, these are the drain lines. Uh, one of these drain lines is for your ice maker on the Samsung. One of these drain lines is for the ice maker. The other one's for the fresh food section evaporator. And the other one's for the freezer evaporator. And both of these were right in here. So, you put them back on. Um, put these things back on. And this is gonna save a lot of problems. A lot of times in Samsungs, if you have, uh, if your evaporator is, um, if your evaporator is in your fresh food section, if you find water, underneath your crisper drawers. Um, it means that your evaporator uh, drain line got clogged up. You wanna take this apart and I can guarantee you that you'll have a bunch of water that runs down after you thaw it out. Anyways, I'm just gonna put this back together, put it back together the way uh, you took it apart. You can also get an air compressor and blow all this out, but it creates a ton of dust. You wanna do it outside. It's more, more, more problems than it's worth to do it with an air compressor. Your whole, you're not gonna pull this whole thing out outside of your kitchen to get it done unless you know your backyard is pretty close to your kitchen. Um, if you use the air compressor, just keep in mind, you will have a ton of dust everywhere. For me, this is good enough. I'm happy with it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, thank you so much.